In this video, we're going to collect data using the uh, survey to go for Android application and the PC survey application. We're going to start with uh, collecting data with the survey to go for Android application. And for this demo, we're going to use the uh, Smoker survey, which is uh, available in our uh, demo project under our demo customer. It has um, a couple of questions. 13 questions and it's currently set to production mode and we're gonna log in to the survey to go for Android and uh, run this. So here we are at the survey to go for Android. This is the login screen. I'm gonna click on um, login. I'm gonna use Jim as a username. After login, everything's gonna get synced up and I see there are two surveys assigned to me. I can choose any one of those surveys. Um, blue color test in his version number five and smoker surveys in version number 83. Uh, this is a very handy um, number because I can verify that versus the actual uh, survey version and um, make sure that I have the latest version available. I'm going to click on the smoker survey, which will take me to the actual survey um, screen. And in the screen, I can see the uh, number of interviews I've conducted that are pending on this device, the uh, number of completed interviews, number of uh, filtered out interviews, the number of not completed interviews, and a number of attachments that are pending on this device. So if your device is offline, uh, you're going to see here numbers after you collect data. If your device is online, uh, you should expect to see uh, data here for a fraction of a second until it gets sent to the actual server. We have two tabs in here, the conducted tab and the quota tab. If you have quotas assigned to this uh, survey, you're going to see your personal quotas here. So I see I have actually completed three females out of uh, the female quota and 14 males out of the males quota. And I have a target of 20 and 20 for females and males and the interlock quota of females who are 14 to 20 years old. I haven't yet completed anything out of that. This is again only visible if you have quotas assigned to your survey and we can have a uh, specific video regarding how to configure quotas. To run a survey, I click on the run. And uh, once I'm here, I can actually um, click on the back button to stop this survey and exit it. And I can either yes, save it for later or no, close it without saving. So if you click on no, it's gonna basically not do anything. We've canceled the interview. Nothing has been saved on the device, but if we click on run and uh, if I click on back, and then save the survey, we're gonna see one incomplete uh, interview on this device. So this is how not completed interviews are actually um, come to be. I can tap and hold this interview and then choose to either continue the survey, uh, set it as a completed one and get it uploaded, clear it or view it. So if I click on, for example, um, continue, it's going to continue from where I left off. If I um, am on question number three, what is your name? And I click back and click yes. And later on, tap and hold and click on continue. It's going to continue from that question. If I tap and hold, and select the clear, it will delete. It's gonna show me a short preview of the actual questions and answers that I've given to this interview. Up until now, you can see that I've answered question number one, what's your gender, and question number two, your age. I'm gonna click on continue. And fill out the survey. Now, as I go and fill out the survey, I have a couple of options that I can 
uh, utilize. Click on the op options button. I can change languages. I can save this interview. I can add a note. I can activate the camera and take a picture and I can attach certain files to this uh, interview. So I'm going to actually add a note here and this note is going to be um, Jim is testing this interview. Now whatever you save and add to your notes is actually saved and you saved and you can add more notes later on and these notes actually appear in the operations console which we'll show you a video of uh, later in the series. So this is a very useful tool for interviewers to actually um, write something down for the actual uh, data quality control or data processing people to uh, understand. Continue filling out the survey. Now my navigation is done through these controls. Let's sign this interview. Whoops, I need to actually go ahead and add a picture. Here we are. And here we go. Now this interview turned green and uh, it's gone. And the fact that it's gone is because it was just uploaded to the actual server. So had it been offline, this interview would have stayed. And, uh, and I've seen it here. I could have seen a, uh, a, a, a summary of it and I could have cleared it. Now, if I don't want this uh, automatic synchronization to work, I can actually change that from the main survey list screen. I have the options. Uh, button which allows me to log out, go to the actual options, sync up everything. And if I go to the options, I can actually disable the automatic syncing. Now, our general recommendation is to keep it active, which will generate a sync every 10 minutes, uh, but you can turn it off if you prefer that. You can also actually test your connection and make sure that you are connected to your server from here. You can get a GPS status reading from your GPS to make sure the GPS is valid. And you can change a lot of these options. We won't go into uh, specific details on these options. Uh, you can read about them in the manual, but it controls the GPS, um, syncing, and lots of different things. We will now switch to uh, collecting data using the Survey2Go PC. As you can see, the login screen is fairly uh, the same. Again, the same survey screen uh, comes up. We have the uh, tools options right here that control all the options. We can sync up things here. I can double click a survey and get to the uh, actual survey screen and start a new interview from here. It basically looks the same.